Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show Highlight House. Three highlights, three boys basketball sectional semifinals. We've got Auburndale, Marathon, Marshfield, and Merrill, plus uh, Columbus and Assumption, and that's exactly where we'll start down at Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln High School with Jason from the Zaleski Sports Show and Paul Knopf on the call. Here's the highlights. He's going to take it two steps, left hand up and good, Nick Mulliver. Nice hero step that time by uh, Mulliver going to the basket, had his defender pin that time and used the euro step to get to the rack. Nice pass inside, couldn't quite collect it. Schmidt for three is good. Hanson eyes up Grunhofer, no, back out Mulliver for three, short and rolls in. Peters now at the free throw line, cut off there. Shot put up by Sullivan, in. Nice shot there by Youngworth. Mulliver wide open for three. Yes! Sure has a, had an opening there, passed it up. Taylor now pops from inside and good. Noah Taylor. Beautiful use of the jump stop there by, by Taylor. Grunhofer in. Yeah. Nice jump hook there by Grunhofer. If you're the Dimes, that's just a little too deep. You can't let him catch that deep. Nice really pass. All alone down there. Right hand under the basket is up and good. Here to Youngworth. It's intercepted by Mulliver. He'll get one shot here at the half. It's good as it goes. Oh. oh looks in. Mantel certainly came out shooting. Oh, wide open. Nice move. Nice. There's he the first possession for the Dons out of uh, the halftime break. Here's Mulliver. Long Mulliver. Tim. Uh, you take that, Furlinger. And Demise, uh, contested, and one. About seven points a game. Seven, looking for eight, and rolls in. Shooting a couple of them. There. Mulder with nice. fake, lines up the three. Good. Nick Mulder. How's I to identify it right now? They got a little ragged before. Mulder again. Nick Mulder. Three three, so they've kept their halftime lead. Mulder again for three. Yes, Nick Mulder. Unconscious. Out of his characteristic self, Meese there with the drive. Oh, yeah. Shot up and in. Even Meese. Stop yeah, with his odd man. Push off. He blocked by Mandel. Mandel with a big time block. And Grunhofer holding his head as Taylor up and good. Final score 63 53. Halftime, he had a one point advantage. One and a half came out. 9 0 run uh, right away in the second half. Your thoughts on the second half? I thought to start the half, we, we, we were kind of focused on getting the ball high post and kicking some all over from there. Uh, he was able to relocate a few times and knock down over shots. And we had a lot of other guys step up too. And Ethan Meese had some big baskets. Noah Hansen had some big baskets. Uh, Mandel never really got going tonight, but obviously they were focused on him. Uh, I, I thought Bryce Fernlinger did well. Noah Taylor, Peyton, the, you know, the seven guys that got the majority of the minutes really all played a role. And very, very proud of them. All right, uh, Jason here with the Zaleski Sports Show, visiting with our Zaleski Sports Show highlight house player of the game, Nick Mulliver. Nick, uh, let's just talk about your shooting right away. Seven three-pointers tonight, only a couple of misses from deep. Uh, just talk about your stroke and how you were feeling it tonight. Um, well, I started uh, feeling it a little early, and it just, you know, I just started to catch on from there. And my team got me the ball, and, like, they, we throw in high posts, and our, my job was just to relocate and find open spots and just get a few the Marshfield Tigers taking on the Merrill Blue Jays for the third time this year. Tigers winning the first two, and a third would put them also one game from going to state. Brant Bowman, three-pointer, gets the Tigers on the board. Then it's Reed Miller from the same spot. Merrill chirps back. Seth Anderson, he don't dance. He got money moves. Reed Miller again for three. Miller, raindrops, drip, drop top. Blue Jays hanging tough. Marshfield with the ball. Brent Bowman left all alone. Marshfield goes up at halftime, 27-23. Second half, Seth Anderson, timber! Then it's Anderson owning the second half. Anderson, savage, ruthless. Isaac Meverden, he'll take all three of those. Tigers scoring all over the court from this one. Precision passing down to Meverden. Two more. 
And it's Bowman on the run out, easy basket. And Seth Anderson closes this one out and along the way becomes the all-time season scoring leader for the Tigers at 556 points in one season. Let that sink in. Marshfield takes on Lacrosse Central at Spash with a trip to State on the line. Game time set for 1 p.m. on Saturday. Live stream available at ZaleskiSports.com or we'll see you at the game. For more than 50 years, V&H Automotive has been serving Marshfield and Central Wisconsin with new Ford Lincoln and Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram trucks. Our professional staff of factory trained sales associates as well as parts and service personnel are here to serve you six days a week. We're your neighborhood quick service experts. We provide all the services your car or truck needs most, including an in-depth vehicle checkup report on every visit. Visit us for friendly service and very competitive pricing. See V&H Automotive today. Barrows in the air. Nate Stoffel wins the opening tip. And the Red Raiders have the ball to our left. Back now for Donnie Free. Turnaround jumper goes in on the near wing. Drives the lane. Hands it off. Down low for Stoffel. Nate lays it in for two. It was on the inline. So turnover Auburndale, Marathon now inside to free on the other end. Donnie in the paint. A three on the top of the key is good for Colton Wright, knocks it down. Over to Schmutzer on the left corner. He'll drive the lane, lobs it up, off the glass and in for Kaysen Schmutzer. On the left corner, Wright trying to dribble in past Mal, goes right by him, lays it in and one. Colton at the line here trying to tie the game and it's good. Side now for Cam Ertle. Far corner three, wide open, Kaysen Schmutzer won't go, and Marathon will head to the locker room with a four point lead. First, Marathon grabs the loose ball, and we are underway in the second half of this one, and then Cam Schilling comes down and hits a three for the Red Raiders. Back to Hunky, Donnie Free gets it right back for a three. Hands it off to Ertl. Back to right for three. Perimeter looking for something inside. Free will fire a three. Oh, fade away three on the left side for Free. Donnie Free left side, three again. Oh, baby knocks it down. Don't one in. Hunky in to the rim and in for two. Inspiration mode right here. A three by Free. And that will do it. Auburndale gets beat here tonight, 78 to 54.